The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security's Central Authority is situated at 5th Street, Albertong. Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vindia Pasad on Tuesday cut the ribbon to officially open the authority. It is the country's first and was established in accordance with the Adoption of Children Amendment Act of 2021. The Central Authority paves the way for the resumption of inter-country adoption in keeping with principles of the Hague Convention of Protection of Children. In her remarks, Dr. Bassot said the Central Authority will be governed by regulations to ensure the effective management of the adoption processes. This is a serious step for a country, but it ensures the paramount safety of children across the length and breadth of Guyana, underscoring that as a country, as an agency, and as a ministry, we would exhaust every opportunity for local adoption. Although a central authority has been established and will now allow the inter-country adoption to resume, the procedure in still involves the local process where cases will be assessed by the Child Care and Protection Agency, moved to the local adoption board, and then the final end point is the court. That has not changed with regard to the legislation. However, within that construct, there is the central authority to assure that there is oversight and that all the parameters that are within the Hague Convention are followed as are the amendments to our 2009 legislation that speaks to adoption. But we want the things that matter, a loving family, we want encouragement and motivation, and we want those children, most importantly, to have stability. Stability in their lives and stability when it comes to their future. The Central Authority consists of five members, including two lawyers. Chief Executive Officer of the Central Authority, Casina Jardin, said its key role is to ensure that the rights of children are protected and they are placed in safe spaces with suitable families. The Central Authority is a body strategically established to facilitate, whether directly or indirectly, the implementation of the 1993 Hague Convention on the protection of children with respect to intercountry adoption. It must be noted as well that intercountry adoption is not new for Guyana. However, the Convention provides a more comprehensive approach to processing such cases. We've heard the quote, child protection is everyone's business. This emphasizes that the responsibility lies with us all. To cooperate in the fight against abuse, maltreatment, and exploitation of children. Under the legislation, any child who is under the age of 18 and is a resident of the country can be adopted. To adopt, an individual is required to be over 18 years old and not older than 65 years old. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.